hello good morning and welcome to today's video my name is emma stick around for hauls and vlogs we are a disney living family of four we've done various trips i've got my cruise spirit jersey on today that was the last disney adventure we have there are playlists of disney world disneyland paris the disney magic at sea and um last week i uploaded a disney pack with me which will be the first of three i think i was blown away by the, the comments, the interaction, the engagement, the fact that you all are packing nerds like me. We're off to Florida, hopefully for Easter, as long as, you know, it doesn't get stopped by you know what. So I'm, I'm remaining positive, I'm remaining hopeful, and I'm gonna continue packing, and then they will just stay in the suitcases until we eventually get there. So today I am packing, packing part two, and I'm gonna be packing um, my daughter's stuff. So I've got it all upstairs and I'm gonna bring it down and we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna show any new bits. I'm gonna show some old bits. I'm gonna show how I use the packing cubes for her. Her outfits are a little bit different because my little boy um, kind of will wear whatever. He's nine. He will go in a Mickey t-shirt, shorts, boom. Done. My daughter now is 11. She's going to be starting secondary school in September. So I have to think of her as a little bit more strategically because I have to look at her vibe. I have to think about her aesthetic. I don't know what these things mean. <laughs> but I have to make sure that the outfits will go in line with her fashion conscious ways. This is going to be a tricky balance. But I think I can pull it off hope I can pull it off we're going with lots of t-shirts and cycling shorts which she seems to really like lots of tie-dyes um pale kind of colors she really enjoys those um we've got mini ears she's got a really specific pair that she really really wants to wear which is a blue spotty pair so I'm definitely going to make sure that is included with some of her outfits so I'm going to bring it down, come along with me for the ride. I've got my list ready to tick things off on my phone. So glad so many of you out there are list keepers like me. We are kindred spirits. And also, um, I think there was one lady who was like, I just packed the night before and you are a hero. Because I could not do that. I wish I could do that, but I can't do that. I need a plan. I am a control freak. I should change all of my bios to Emma Conway. I am a control freak. Right, let's bring the stuff down. Here is the pile of stuff. Oh, oh, can't catch my breath. Here's the pile of stuff. She is going to be using, um, well, for her, we're going to be using the pale blue packing cubes. I have a feeling one of these is lost somewhere. So she might have one less, but we will see. So she's got the pale blue packing cubes. You will notice bucket hats is very important um, fashion item for her so I'm going to put these things into piles first of all um, and show you what we got going on if you are looking for shorts for your kiddos I got this three pack from Sainsbury's and I'm sure at some point they will have the 20% off so maybe keep your eyes out £11 it came with pale blue tie-dye black which is always good and pale pink tie-dye I also got her this set um actually I think this might be two sets there's a five pack a five pack of lycra shorts 14 pound again wait for the 20% off I didn't I'm a fool peach pale blue black yellow and purple the black ones I might keep at home because she likes to wear those under her summer dresses um because they like doing cartwheels so she wants to have cycling shorts and you've also got this three pack for 11 this is a great one for school so black gray and white is white a risky color for florida with ice cream all down it who knows probably but um so i have sorted stuff into lycra shorts shorty shorts night like going out like nice shorts i'm doing my jamer i'll hand again nice shorts t-shirts swimwear pajamas hats i think i will just show you some of this stuff actually this i bought last year but it will show you the kind of stuff that you can get on h&m if you look at the right times of year okay so this isn't hugely helpful but hopefully you will un your bag 
balancing on a candle. Of course you are. What else would you be balancing on in my house? So, H&M. This stuff was from H&M, but this was in the sale last year. But my point is this. If you buy stuff out of season, you can keep it for the next holiday. Um, somebody else commented and agreed with me. H&M is a brilliant thing to become a member of because you often get money off vouchers, you get to join the sales early. Another good thing is if you spend a certain amount of money, you get vouchers, so ever so often I get like three quid off, which doesn't sound very much, but if you're buying a top that's 3 99 you get like virtually a free top and it's always free delivery as well, so it's great, join it. So these are some of the bits that I picked up that we haven't worn because it was for the holiday that never was, um, but these were all in the sale, so I picked up a few of these really nice jumpsuits. I got her to try them on to make sure they fitted and they fitted great. We've got a black one. We have got a um, purple one. And we thought this would be great for the Flower and Garden Festival. Like the lemons, I don't know, just, just seems really cute. Just really cute, really liked it. Also love this lemon top, which will look brilliant with some shorts. So nice and summery. Um, I can't tell you the prices because I say they're in the sale, but they were they weren't they weren't very much at all. So always, always keep your eye on the H and M sale online. It is brilliant. I often just go in, pick what because you could be going you could be on it for hours because there's so much stuff on there. So go in, pick the sizes that you want. So I always go nine and eleven. Then I might type the keyword Disney and you just look at all the stuff or you know whatever summer stuff. We've got her a plain blue one which is a really nice little jumpsuit and this as well which we, we both thought was brilliant when she tried it on the other day like a long one again in that kind of like lemon pattern so those are the kind of things that she will be wearing if we go out for a meal on the evening or perhaps if she doesn't want to wear like some sort of Disney clothes they're kind of like the going out stuff thanks for people that suggested um, places to get shirts for Ethan I actually picked up I just got one more from Marks and Spencers, I got like a, um, they called, I don't know what they're called, sports jersey, I don't know, button up, you know what I mean. Right, let's get these outfits sorted. The outfits will be great because then she's going to want earrings to go with the outfits and hats to go with the outfits and ears to go with the outfits. So it's going to be a whole ensemble for her. And you know what? I, for one, love it. So let's get it sorted. Also guys, I got this in Marks and Spencers. Um, they have these beautiful t-shirts with the houses for Harry Potter. So I got Ravenclaw for my girl. However then, the other day, she's like, maybe I'm a Hufflepuff. And I was like, no, you're a Ravenclaw. You said you're a Ravenclaw. And I got Gryffindor for my boy. I got them, I sized up, I don't care. They're gonna be wearing these for years. Just do it. So I got 12 to 13. Um, but I thought these were really nice. I think they were like £12 or something. So I thought they were really cute. They've got loads of Harry Potter stuff on there at the moment. Okay, here is where we're at. Um, highly advise if you have small kiddos to go to Primark and buy t-shirts that are a size 4 or 2XS because they can wear them for years. So these are have been on virtually every holiday. This is a great one, the Marie one. Also, if you're looking to twin with your kiddos, um, <clears throat> I have this t-shirt and I have this t-shirt. Um, we all have this t-shirt. So, fairly inexpensive twinning with your children at Disney. Um, you could get your adult size, you know, you're 16, you're 18, you're 20, whatever, and then get the kiddos a small one. So it's going, it's going really well. Um, I'm kind of mixing the tie dyes together because I think that look quite, looks quite nice rather than having them matching. I don't know if that looks a bit like pyjamas. So I'm mixing a little bit. We've got a few Harry Potter tops. Um, oh, I was wondering what she could wear with these, but this will look good with the the Ravenclaw one, wouldn't it? The blue and the... Yeah, that's, but then again, I don't know if this is so long. Maybe it needs um, cycling shorts, but that... Oh, that is a good option. It's all in piles. It might look a bit disorganised, but it's all in piles. Every pile has a top and a bottom. Some have got hats, so she's got a purple baseball hat. She's got her bucket hat. She's got her yellow hat. I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't want to wear one of these on the plane, to be honest. 
Um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we've got 15 outfits. That's one for every day, one in case something explodes on something, which always does happen. We've got a few evening outfits, two pairs of pyjamas, two swimsuits, spare pair of really nice shorts. Um, so the plan is to get all of this into these. But as I say... I haven't looked, but I ha I think there's one missing, but that is the plan to get rolling, not folding. So remember you roll, you don't fold. And I said this before, and I'll say it again, you don't have to take 14 outfits if you're going on holiday for two weeks. They do have washing machines if you are staying on site in Disney resorts. So if you want to take seven outfits and wash them, you're more than welcome. If you... um the kids get ice cream and every single outfit, you can go and wash it, it's not a problem. I just don't want to do washing on my holidays. So I've got this stuff and then this will last them for some holiday. This will be it now. I shouldn't need to get anything else. They've got, I mean, Erin's got a million pairs of shorts now. Um, so right, time to fold. No, not fold, time to roll. Take your own advice, Emma. Ta-da, it's fitted in three. I'm sure my boys was four. I can't remember, but I know he had like a wand and Harry Potter stuff and things. So we've got day wear. In here is a tiny bit of day wear, but mainly night wear. And in here is pyjamas, some costumes. Erin is going to wear Crocs on the plane, as is Ethan. Ethan has got Crocs and flip-flops. Erin has got saltwater sandals and flip-flops. The Havanias are, possibly pronouncing that wrong, are the comfiest shoes I find for Disney. Um, so I will definitely be taking those and some salt waters and then hats and I think I've got enough time today to perhaps pack her some ears as well um, and I'm going to pack those I think in like a sheen you know the sheen bags that you get so let's take these upstairs one thing I will say I haven't packed underwear <laughs> no I'm not going to do so I'm just thinking there's going to be a shot isn't there of me in Florida going Oh, what chocolate on my face? That's not the shot, but there'll be a shot of me in Florida going. And as suspected, Emma forgot to pack any underwear for her family. Must pack underwear. <laughs> Must pack underwear. I'm going to go and tick the things off my phone and make sure underwear is moved to the top. So yeah, her, her stuff is all here. I also found out her, I found her mini bum bag, which was um, for my cruise. My boy has... Um, a Marvel one somewhere, and that's great because we're hoping to do some pin trading. So, my stuff's there. Stephen's stuff is accruing nicely there. Half a slider. I'm sure Margot's got the others. These are the Crocs. Let's pull out. I packed Ethan some um, ears and stuff, didn't I? <laughs> this is my little ear display not display like storage so the ears that she is very adamant she wants are these ones she is desperate to take these ones these are old um i'm not sure shop i don't know they're proper disney ones though but she definitely wants those so that has got to go um hmm these ones are great classic whoops these are, I'm not sure whether a Primark or Claire, maybe Primark, they, they're really good quality. But you just have to be careful because sometimes with the Primark and the Claire's ones, if it gets a little bit warm, um, like it did on the cruise, one of the ears fell off. <laughs> so, yeah, she'll definitely want that one as well. I think that's a cute one to go with all the tie-dye stuff, isn't it? I think that's a really cute one. I think that might be the one that I lost the air of and um I'm not let me see what these look like on my head because I've got we've got one each what do you think Mickey I don't know if they're a bit small they're cute but they're quite small they're very soft these are Primark I think he approves um, I'll pack those for her as well because they'll go with a lot of the tie-dye stuff she's wearing. 
I'm getting distracted by what what ears I want to take. <laughs> I'm not focusing on the pro on the project at hand. So she's going to take four the classic reds because I'll twin the the blue one and the two like kind of tie dye ones. These I was just these ones I need to plan an outfit for. Hang on two seconds. My haunted mansion ones. I love them. Stand up properly. I love them. So in the next video I will um, start taking photos of my outfits. I'm thinking with this. Because uh, that's like black, isn't it? Black. Oh. Oh. I could do it today, but no. I'm going to wait. We can, we can wait till next week for that because I don't want to peak too early. But these ears will definitely be going. Um, I love them. Okay, guys. There we go. Thanks so much for coming along with me. My girl stuff is pretty much packed. Apart from the underwear, must remember underwear. Tattoos, must remember underwear. Somewhere on face so I don't forget. And then the last pack with me will be my stuff and also the knickknacks, the pins, the toiletries. Steen will be packing his own stuff. I can see if he'll sh let me show you a few bits and bobs. Um, he's got some Disney t-shirts, but he tends to kind of like just to wear a Disney t-shirt every other day. He has more kind of like non-Disney stuff. So... I also need to iron all of those things they're getting. They're very crumpled. Right, guys, I love you lots, and I will see you in a few days for another upload. Have a wonderful, magical day.